Hi, my name is David Tu. Call me David. I'm the leader of our group. Our name is Inorep, and our advisor is Professor Kao Yun Cho. And here is team members. Uh, our topic today is interactive learning control for controlling control of two assistance machine tools by using the equivalent control error model concept. And uh, here is our contents today. Uh, we have five contents motivation, system, structure, concepts, and application, key technology, and conclusions. First of all, uh, the motivation, motivation for us to take part in this competition is we, ha we want to challenge and experience in the industrial applications and in the 4.0 industry smart machine and I the IOT are booming so it it requires um, more smart machine and more data to analyze and for that reason uh, machining data will be collected and used to analyze for making a better next decision means uh, our project will be used the collected data from the previous machining time to and the input data to modify the next input for get a better performance and as a result the control error the control error will be gradually reduced after several learning time and we also use the equivalent control error concepts in uh, an alternative way for estimated estimated control error model, and here is our structure. Uh, you see, uh, X and Y table structure. It consists of real-time uh, controller, real-time feedback controller for each axis, and all the data. Real-time real means uh, it's always operating in the machining time so after finishing the machining we get the data and then we put into the equivalent control error model and learning controller and to modify the input command for the next the next machining cycle this is a structure and our project we use the concept equivalent control error model because uh, you know that the actual control error model is very hard to achieve so we use our approach is we use uh, an another way is uh, equivalent control error model so it's the uh, angel bright function when we reduce this concept, I mean, reduce the uh, equivalent control error equivalently to reduce the actual control error model. And when it comes to the application, uh, our algorithm and our concept can be used for many applications in industry. For example, fire assistance machine tool and tapping machine tool. Uh, for fire assistance machine tool, we use ILC and equivalent control error model for contouring control and in the tapping machine we use ILC and equivalent control error model for the synchronize the speed between the V uh, the spindle and the V axis and here is a key, key technology we use the uh, offline interactive learning control um, let, let, me, let me show some advantage of this algorithm. This, this ILC is a method use the error data from the previous mach machining cycle and the command to improve the next 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 input command to get a better performance without inferencing of the real time controller working at a low level. So the keep is a apply linear update rule and the key point is how to design error matrix or learning matrix to in order to make the 
equivalent to error model gradually decay to zero. And here is some simulation results. Uh, on the left screen, the first pillar, you can see this is uh, equivalent to error with ILC. This is without ILC and after several learning time, the equivalent control error model will be decreased and equivalently uh, actual control error model also be reduced after several learn learning time and here is the actual movement of X and Y table with ILC the right one here is a command our uh, command is a circular path and after several learning time the actual movement as closer as possible with the command and con for the conclusion and as a trend in 4.0 industrial revolution IOC algorithm also makes your the collected machining data in order to analyze and give the better decisions as as the commands to CNC machine tools to get the better countering control and moreover we also you have used the equivalent control error model as an objective control instead of using the actual control error model is so difficult to form so this is our, our, our introduction about our project Th thanks for listening